What's up guys? Welcome back to Build Quick again. Today it's back to work on our EZ50. And in this episode, I was really hoping to be able to go for a test ride, but it's just not looking like that's how things are going to line up. Unfortunately, I'm still waiting on the front wheel to show up, but if you can see behind me, we did get the seat and the handlebar mounts. So that is one step in the right direction. Now, I don't have the brake cables and stuff yet, but I would like to go through and get the caliper mounted on here as well. Off camera, I went through and I made some different seat mounts. I haven't test fit them yet. I still need to weld them up, but we'll go ahead and test that thing on. I think we'll start by getting the handlebars on here. We're going to have to line it up, drill some holes so we can mount those. From there, we'll test fit the seat, and then we can start figuring out the caliper mount for this thing. I already put the rotor on the wheel, but we're just going to have to figure out where the caliper is going to live and then build some mounts for that thing. And then we'll go through and weld those on, weld the seat mounts up if everything works. And if all goes well, maybe we'll just start stripping this thing. So that way we can get it all ready for paint. And then once it's all painted, then we'll do our test ride. I'm just not trying to wait around. I'm not 100% sure that the wheel's going to even work. So instead of just waiting for this thing, I'm just going to keep on going and see where we get. But before we get started, let's go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button so we can keep on building cool You're going to want to make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out when we do do the test ride on this thing. Because I'm really looking forward to this and just revving the motor or whatever you want to call it since it's electronic. Seems like this thing's going to be a powerful little bike. But... You're going to have to make sure you're subscribed so you can see what the final product turns out to. But with all that being said, let's get started.
So we managed to go ahead and get the handlebars all mounted on there, the seats mounted, and those brackets worked beautifully, by the way. And then we got our tabs made for our brake caliper. So now it's time to go through. I got to take the seat back off there so I can weld up those seat brackets. But we're going to have to move everything over to the other side of the shop so I can get you all set up. We can go through, weld that stuff up and then maybe we'll be able to pull out the wire wheel and start stripping this frame down so that way we can be one step closer to paint and then who knows maybe we'll just paint next episode or the front wheel may be here or we'll just have to see what happens but with all that being said let's keep going <laughs> So after another late night, we got a lot done on this thing. The handlebars are mounted, we made the seat brackets and the seats all mounted up, and we got our caliper mounts on there. And then on top of all of that, I got this thing stripped all down to bare metal. Which means next episode, we should be ready to start painting this thing. Now I've got some big plans for this thing. I didn't see any comments that said something like this, but I've got some stuff that I've really been wanting to try out and I've just haven't had the motivation to pull it out and I think this will be the perfect time to do something with it. But you're gonna have to stay tuned for next episode so you can see what the plan is for this thing. So before we get out of here, let's go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button so we can keep on building cool shit. Like I said, next episode we're painting and you don't want to miss out. But I'll catch you guys on the next episode when we paint this thing. Peace! Like I said... Next episode we're painting, and you don't want to miss out. But, I'll catch you guys on the next episode when we paint this thing. Peace!